Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Pinstar Plays... Uh, no, not Pinstar Plays. This is Terraforming Mars Strategy and Tactics. Um, so today, we are uh, diving into another one of the Prelude uh, Corporations. Happy Board Game Thursday, everyone! Um, and today, I uh, just rolled and re-rolled until we got one we have not played yet, and that one is Valley Trust. Now, Valley Trust goes all in on the whole prelude things. Everybody, uh, all all players, regardless of which corporation, get um, four prelude cards presented to them at the beginning of the game. They get to pick two, and those are the first two that they play. Valley Trust gets a third as part of their first action. And not just a third, a third that they can draft from a choice of three. So they can, you know, with the knowledge of what cards they have in hand and what uh, prelude cards they already played, what's the third one that can be give them those bang for their buck? Now, it may seem minor that you half of your power is just drawing one extra card, but a prelude card played at the beginning of the game is ha has a big enough snowball effect if you choose the right prelude card that it becomes potent if you play it correctly uh their other effect the uh, minus two cost for science tags yeah that kind of pivots them towards a science um uh victory or or at least the science uh reward for it but um I, that's probably the lesser of the powers the prelude card is really the thing and hey a free earth tag there's some cards that benefit from earth tags so let's do it all right, so these are our two uh, standard um, things here. Now, uh, let's see here. Uh, supplier is pretty good. Um, huge Asteroid's pretty good. Because uh, actually, Huge Asteroid gives you more than just the three heat. It gives you a heat pro um, uh, a heat production because you are going to ro uh, rocket up the... Uh, uh, the first three tiers of the temperature gauge and be the one to instantly unlock the uh, uh, plus one heat production. So it kind of has that built into it, but also costs you five bucks. And we don't actually start with much money here. Um, experimental for... Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to just grab two of these and then see what our cards are. Because you can peek at your cards and then go back and choose your prelude based on what's available in your starting hand. And I see a mole hole. I see corporate stronghold. Uh, security fleet's good um, if we have. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I'd go security. Solar wind power is fantastic because it's a uh, science tag, which makes it cheaper for us. Um. Yeah. So we don't need supplier because we have our own supply of electricity. Um, experimental for, uh, well, mole excavation I really like. And then either experimental forest or huge asteroid. Um, actually, huge asteroid combined with the mole excavation, I think, would probably be our best bet. Because then we can grab mole area. For even more heat production and heat production in the early game very powerful corporate stronghold for that early game income very important um and then the solar wind power uh for that um heck we could even grab micro mills if we really were if we were feeling cute um actually let me let me add up the total case so this is going to be uh two heat per turn plus one heat per turn from the bonus from the asteroid so that's three um, yeah, actually, then Moho is four, and if we get the micro mills, that is worth, uh, that, that gives us a eight, which is a temperature up per turn, which is a, a very important tipping point. So, yeah, so let's just make sure, huge asteroid, Moho excavation, Moho area, corporate stronghold, I can't believe I'm actually taking it, micro mills, and solar wind power. Now, we may be a little bit delayed a turn here. Um, but yeah. I think, I think this is good. For turbines, that's fine. Yeah, 
and a bio lab. See, bio lab with uh, that food factory would have been a good combo. But we didn't have bio lab. All right, huge asteroid. And there's our first tick of heat. Moho. And two free heat to start us off as well. Alright, Biosphere support for extra... Oh, crap. Echo Line got the plus two plant? Oh, boy. That's not good. That's not good. All right, they're probably going to be my my number one uh, uh, competition right now. All right. Oh, we got two other of the new ones. Vitor. So Vitor, uh, their special abilities, they get to uh, get an award bought right off the bat, which actually is a good thing for me because they bought that. Okay. Ooh, all right. Um, ooh, uh, great aquifer is really, really good. Uh, let me look at my things here. Yeah, if I grab the titanium and the uh, the others, that can help me catapult my hand here. So yeah, great aquifer, probably one of the most powerful. So we get that for the titanium. Um, and honestly, I'm going to take that for the uh, steel, because I'm going to be using steel anyway. Um, and then... I think what I'm going to do is mess some people up. Yeah, I'm going to mess some people up. Um, now, uh, so the question can be, what do I go with? Uh, mole hole or solar wind plus stronghold? Um, and I think solar wind plus stronghold is the correct answer here. Although, um, I might, if I delay it by one, I could uh, wait for somebody to place that but uh it, early game income is so important and we could also throw down our micro mills and then play the mohole later yeah you know what i'm gonna do that and we get two more uh, titanium for future uh, uh space card play All right, everyone's throwing down cities I was I'm, I was kind of hoping that somebody would throw down uh, like an ocean or something. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be over there. Mm, early Arctic algae is pretty good. All right, I'm thinking I, I, I want to put my city over here. But I also want the bonuses from the... Um, oh, yeah, I could mole hole. Uh, but I can't do both. I, I can't afford both the corporate stronghold and the mole hole. Yeah, I'll, I'll corporate stronghold it. Uh, although, do I want a mohol? I kind of want a mohol. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to mohol. So here's what I'm going to do to screw people up. Is I'm going to slap this right here so that ocean, it breaks up the oceans um, and people can't really get in on that. It also kicks the can on uh, 
on their um, on people playing either oceans in good spots or playing um, uh, uh, grassy tiles in good spots that I could just uh, hop on. Yeah, now that's taken care of everything. But now we have seven heat production in the first generation. Yeah, I wasn't counting on, on getting that other one. That's okay. Sheesh. And the flood of cities continues. I am I am not touching that area with a ten foot pole unless I get if I get if I get a um freaking um oh, of course you did. Well, there goes my titanium. Not that I was like banking on that for anything, but it would have been useful. But yeah, if I get a um, uh, commercial district, that's money right there, literally and figuratively. And we get to go first next round, which is awesome. And yeah, we get to we get to start our heat rises right from the get go. Okay, I'm going to draft Demos down to keep it out of the hands of the other players. Honestly, that is why. I don't want to play it myself because I want to farm, I want to put my heat resources to use, but I don't want anyone else playing it because that's three notches of heat that they would get instead. Uh, capital would also be really nice, but I don't have the power for it. Uh, wave power would also be really nice for future power endeavors, but no, this is a hate draft on that. Uh, cartel, um, we only have the one free the earth tag, so this wouldn't really pay off. Uh, research becomes insanely cheap for us. Like our bonus applies twice. So yeah, it makes sense to grab research. Greenhouses, uh, greenhouses actually would, would kind of work. Um, biomass combustors would be nice. Yeah, I don't know if I'll draft greenhouses. We'll see. The uh, building industries is nice if I had a spare power, but my power is spoken for. So I'm going to grab research. I'm just going to grab research and see what, what cards it draws me. Everything else I think we can let go. All right, let's just play research because we can still play our other stuff, and I want to I want to wait some time, let other let the other players do their things. All right, we got imported nitrogen and shuttles. Shuttles is good once we get enough oxygen. Nitrogen, well, I'm glad we have this in our hand because now I know I need to to see if I can get one of each, um, or one 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 uh, bacteria and one thing of animals. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to play the one thing, and then I'm going to do a strategic turn skip. Ah, there's the plant conversion. So now we now we know we can sort of farm off of that. Will you knock it off with the asteroids? Search for life, okay. And an electro catapult. All right, so they'll be rack, raking in the cash. I'm still gonna stall in case somebody throws down an ocean or something. So let's pop the heat. And then another strategic skip. Just to see if anybody else makes a, a, a nice city location for me. Now, one thing I am looking at is this little area over here, even though it's not even developed at all for me. There goes Noctis. Noctis. 
Because I'd like to have like a, a thing right here, but no one's played the ocean yet, surprisingly. Um, and if we play here, we could start s spamming down some plants and, and getting that going here. The other alternative here is to place it here and sort of call essential dibs on these areas over here while giving my city the most amount of room to breathe. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to do that instead. We are going to be obnoxious in our placement. And let's throw down the micro mills while we're at it. I can't believe I actually willingly and consciously took that card. Oh, Vitor is going charging up for something. Might be trying to uh, drum up uh, juice for for one of those um, you know spend X energy and get uh, get a benefit. Me putting that uh, mole hole down is probably screwing with the AI a bit because they normally go like down the line here, but without the ocean adjacency bonuses, um, that's going to that's gonna mess with them a little bit. All right. Oh my God, a commercial district. The dream is real. The dream is real. Uh, yeah, we're taking caretaker contract, uh, just in case uh, they max out the temperature gauge. Imported hydrogen, eh? Well, I'm already going down this going down this this logical line here, so yeah, let's do that. Uh, we don't need to keep cranking the heat though. Boom, boom, and boom. Fight commercial district is huge. Oh, don't fill in that spot. Don't fill in that spot, please. I don't think anyone wants to fill in that spot. But we'll see. All right, there's the electro catapult. All right, good. So we get to we get our dream electro catapult play. That makes me very happy. Oh, we need electricity. Crap. Um. Yeah, I'll pop the power plant for it, but I don't think we can have enough for it. Yeah, because if we if we drop that, that drops it down to fourteen. We're still a buck short. Um, shuttles would help these guys out. Dang it! Um, I really want to play it this generation. Like, really want to play it this generation. Uh, I'm willing to pitch something. I think I'm going to pitch the nitrogen because this requires, in order to get the full benefit from this, we need both a uh, bacteria and an animal card, whereas the hydrogen only needs one or the other. So I'm going to I'm going to pitch the uh, the nitrogen just so that we can get that commercial center play this turn. Because that, yeah, the extra tick of the income is so much more worth it. Phew. Okay, I was about to say, don't, please don't fill in that hole. Don't fill in the hole. All right, good. You guys are making me nervous. Phew. In your zeal to deny each other points, you leave things open for me. That's one point for each adjacent city, plus 
lots and lots of money and they don't get in and, and unlike a uh, um, uh, 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 greenery they do not get any bonus points from being adjacent to my commercial district that's just me making money so a far cry from the uh, the the mall in the middle of nowheresville we built this thing downtown um, Excellent. All right. Uh, pop our heat. Well, the Eco Lion is making plants hand over fist, but at least they're poor. Chunsing Mars is a little worrisome. But at least we got our heat going, and that's what counts. All right, um, ants, ants. I mean, Earth Catapult's really good too, but we're at Gen 4, won't quite pay for itself. And the hydrogen, yeah, can put three microbes on ants. It's not the best thing, best use for it. It's better to have it put on animals, but let, let, at least let me draft ants. See what we'll see what we got here. Um, grass is actually pretty good. Um, above minus sixteen, yeah, we'll take that. We need to get in on ply. Red cam, ooh, red cam factory is really good, but we don't have the electricity for it. Advanced alloys I might grab just to deny it to somebody else because the others are doing lots with their Ooh ants and ooh ants and fungus. Okay. Now we're now we're talking now we're talking Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fart around with the advanced alloys We have one steel production and we're not going crazy for the rest of it Now the question is, did anybody else play a bacteria card? Yeah, they foregoed the uh, plus one animal. Soil factory, fair enough. All right, let me just check everybody. I don't think anybody put down a bacteria card. Yeah, they got search for life. That's not bacteria. They're looking for bacteria, but it isn't actually bacteria. So I don't want to. I do not want to play my ants because that might scare them off from from uh, doing that. Um, hmm. I mean, then, I, then again, I can have it start ticking up, but again, I don't want to scare them off from it. The other option is uh, power plant into shuttles. That might be the correct answer here, since nobody else has played that. Because that'll uh, make the imported hydrogen a little cheaper and give me some income. Yeah, boy, bushes for Echo Line. They're just going to blanket the whole planet. Yeah, I'm being a big pain in the butt for them, too. Alright, Vitor is getting the Electro Catapult, which is fine. Although it does give them a small mammals. All right, we'll pop our heat. Yeah, I could play the symbiotic fungus, but there's no need to. Because it's not going to do me any good. 
Yeah, I figured April Line was going to grab Gardener. I don't know. We we might make our lunge for Terraformer. As far as um, as far as uh, tags go. All right, well, no one's going to be stealing my uh, my stuff uh, anytime soon. That's a good thing. Right, Y'all done, Vitor? Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad I got Caretaker Contract, though. I don't know how... This this might just be another short game, because with Echo Line spamming all of the, the greeneries, that's going to race the oxygen up really quickly. Um, you know, with me and a couple other AIs doing heat, that's going to get that up. Um, so all that's really... You know, oceans might be the, the holdout. Decomposers. Okay, we're, we're going full... We're going to go full bore here. I mean, Martian Survey is good, but uh, we got the combos. We got the Wombo combos here. Um, and that means we... Um, we want breathing filters because it's cheaper and a science tag. That that works out better for us. As much as I want algae, trust me, I want the algae. Like, I really want the algae. But, hmm, Gen 5... No, I want the breathing filters. Martian rails. I don't have the power production. I don't think I'll buy house printing. It's a little bit late in the game for that. Oh, there's the power. There's our power. But I don't like the minus to that. And I don't know. The extra heat isn't going to benefit us. So I'm going to leave that on the table. Breathing filters, decomposers. I would like somebody to play um, a pe uh, that. All right, we're going to start off with decomposers because then they get benefits from everything else. Um. Then. I guess it is time for us to play ants, even if they don't. Because I really want to play my imported hydrogen. Yeah, they're just gonna go take a wide breath to avoid giving me the points. If I put a city down here, that would stop them cold. Uh, they have no choice but to give me points. That might be a really smart thing to do. Or hell, anybody else going there would would be a wise move. Search for life. A man, is a mangrove alive? No, it's just a bunch of trees. Okay, so now we do this. We grab the last double, uh, double plant square. And we say we want microbes on the ants. I really want to try to play the grass here, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. I mean, don't get me wrong, symbiotic fungus is great. Let me just skip for the moment. Yeah, 
I'm waiting for that to tip up here so that I get to be the one to place the free ocean. Well, that was a good spot for him. I'll give him that. And we want that on the ants, because the ants give us the most point per, per thing on that card. Waiting to see if anyone pops like a, a stray asteroid before popping mine. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna cannibalize my own decomposers here because it, it's the the tags are more worth more when they're on the ants. Just skipping in case. Mars, all right, Mars does not. Now we get to go first next turn, so we can pop it here and still get first dibs and pop our heat again and get the free ocean next turn. We also might want to consider buying um, a, a, an award in next turn to get the 14 uh, priced award so we have something going for us. I also need to check where we are on the rankings for the science tags. So I haven't been paying close attention to how many science tags we've got. Uh, satellites. How many space tags? We got two. That would give us three. Not really worth it. Inventor's Guild. Science tag. I'll take it. Um, towing a comet might be a, uh, might be a good one to take. It's too late for extreme cold fungus. Um, a development center for the science tags. Or at least to deny it from somebody else. Yeah, I'm going to grab the Inventor's Guild. I'm going to grab towing a comet. We don't have the power production, so I'm not going to grab Development uh, Center and Lichen. Uh, I'm not really liking it. Ha 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 ha. So we're just going to go with these two. All right, first, first order of business, we pop our heat to get the freebie uh, ocean. Um, and then, actually, I think we tow a comet to get another ocean down, plus our two plants, which gives us a, pl a free plant pl placement. That also makes sure that we don't run out of oxygen um, and lose out on that bonus. Now there's some more animals, but no, uh, no microbes for me to munch on. Sadly, sadly, and they probably won't since I've got ants out. But again, I can cannibalize my own. It's not ideal. I'd rather be nibbling on their stuff, but eh, what can you do? Hey, targradates. Well, then we just need to wait for them to. Pump up their car grenades and we'll be good. Okay. Um, let's place our greenery tile. Just in case somebody meteors 
and also so that we can get a, get that oxygen rise. Um, and then... I don't think this is going to be the last gen, but I think next turn is going to be the last gen. Uh, how are we on awards? So scientists, we are tied. Banker is not as clenched as I thought it would be. Uh, neither is Thermalist. Although I think we outproduce everybody with Thermalist. Um, you're my big... Yeah, no, you outproduce me with heat. Because of all this freaking spare energy. Yeah. Chung Chungsing Mars is going to be a tough one. And then, no, we do not contest for minor. Ugh. And we're not even close with... Oh, but we have um, Terraformer. I just realized we hit 35. I was about to say, it's like, I always want to get at least something going for me. And usually, it, if it's if it's not cities and, and greeneries, it's terraformer. All right, banker, I'll give you banker. There goes wow, ice cap melting. Last of the uh, the cheapest of the uh, make an ocean cards. There's the target aids. All right, so uh, meets back on the menu, boys. All right, so we need stuff that makes us money, and we also need science tags. Um, yeah, let's go for the breathing filters. Um, although, if we go Inventor's Guild, we can use it to, to fish for a card if we want. We still have to buy it if we, uh, or pay for it if we want to buy it, but yeah, let's go Inventor's Guild. It'll give us a, a chance to use it. Uh, no. <laughs> but I, I don't, I don't uh, regret buying that. Vitor is an interesting one. I'm looking forward to, to doing the episode on them. All right. <clears throat> we could pop Caretaker if we wanted to, but I'm going to hold my money. And we get to munch on the Targardades. Now, I do need to play down one more... Um, tag here, but the de uh, the grass will will uh, take care of that because then that'll bring our decomposers up to three, which is worth one point. And that's about all I can hope for with my decomposers. I do want to go looking for more um, money production cards uh, now that um, Banker's on the table. And Oxygen is off the table. But that was to be expected. Thankfully, I did not go all in on that. Yeah, I'm going to pass here. Because I might get to pop my heat for actual temperature rays, or I might have to caretaker it. Either way, we're going to make use of our heat. Yeah, I'd gr I would have shelled out for Thermalist if Chung Sing wasn't, uh, wasn't making so much heat themselves. And we have ways to spend it, too. All right, let's see what we can get here. Mm, uh, Ganymede is a no-go. Business Network is a no-go. Media Group is a no-go. Yeah, so... I'm going to I'm going to hate draft Ganymede just to keep it away because I know somebody else out there as uh, importing water from 
from uh, Europa. I do not want them stacking the those Jovian tags, so I'm going to take it so they can't have it. Um, that's not useful. That's not useful. Um, we'll go for power grid in case we need it. Doubt it we would. That's not useful. This is somewhat useful because it gives us two money production. And ooh, a wild card tag. After being played, when you perform an action, the wild tag counts as any tag as you want. Yeah, that's actually really good. I'm going to grab that. Yeah, and I don't think we're too close when it comes to um, the Builder Milestone. Well, there's the heat conversion. There's a city. Oof, another, another good one for them. That's going on the search for life. All right, well, they let me have the last heat rise. Um, protected valley. Yeah, I think protected valley is the correct answer here. We'll take that up there for the free card. Get our point on decomposers. Hey, they're finally forced to fill this area in. A little late for that, Vitor. Not so sure about that. Equatorial Magnetizer. Little late for that. That would cost me 22 to get the rise out of it. Not really worth it. Um, I will throw down Breathing Filters because now that's definitely worth it for both the Science Award and um, the two points by themselves. Um, and then 20. I could buy myself an award. Landlord ain't gonna cut it. Thermalist. If I buy Thermalist, it's gonna give it to Chung Sing. Because they did not... Well, they've got... So they've got five, nine heat production and one in stock. I've got eight produ uh, heat production and two in stock. How much money do they have? They don't have enough for that. They're also going to beat me at banker by the... No, they're not going to beat me at banker. I am, I am currently winning the banker war here. Now the question becomes, will I be able to get a, another plant production? The answer is probably no, even with grass, because that gives me three, which gives up to five. The one production would give me six, but I need two more, and I don't see where I could get it. I don't have a... Unless I sell off these other three to place a greenery... on like, yeah, but then it, it's just wasting it, kind of. No, because then I wouldn't be able to afford the grass. Actually, let's just throw this down here. I've never actually played this card before, so I've never seen it in action. But it says after you play a, a card, take an action, so we'll set it to uh, science. And I don't have... 
Yeah, I, I'd need I'd need two tags to grab that. I could get one, but that's it. Put one on the decomposers. Oh yeah, should have done that earlier. Oh! Well, I can't play that, because I don't have enough raw heat for it. I would have, if I had enough raw heat, I would have definitely done local heat trapping to uh, get myself more plants, because that would have given me a plant production. But such is not the case, so we will not buy that. Yeah, they went with landlord anyway. All right, so here we eat the targardades. Not that that really does anything. And not that this really does anything, because you can't play the ability on the after turn. I'll play it anyway, because I can. And we'll sell case of a tie, we'll sell that. All right, let's see how we did. We're going to we're going to take a beating when it comes to um city points because some of these these are some really well-wrapped cities, but hey, mine got a little love too. Yep, no, no freebie conversion for me. All right, let's see how we did. 36 to start. We did get two uh, milestones. No, we got two awards. We, we beat out a few people. We got one milestone. Nice. Not my highest scoring game, but nobody else scored. I mean, this is a short game, so you can't... When you have a low generation game, you don't have a chance to accumulate a huge score. But hey, 66 ain't bad. Valley Trust, not bad. Um, So there you go, Valley Trust. You got to take your, your benefits in the beginning and compound them as much as you can. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!